Hello everybody and welcome to sort of a first impressions for a game called Mini Metro. Game developed by Dinosaur Polo Club. And I believe that this game actually was made originally during a game jam, one of those, you know, where that where a team, a small team, maybe even an individual, I'm not sure, makes a game in a 24 hour, 48 hour period. Um I think it might have been Let Them Dare. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure on that. Um, but what they made is seriously impressing me, and I wanted to make a video. Check this out. The first time you loaded this game, it, it just shoots right into it. No menu, but we have loaded it up once before. So let's get in there. Let's just. It's the minimalism here. This is literally like a work of art for minimalism. It's just. It's incredible. So ultimately, Mini Metro is a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game. We are, this circle is a passenger that wants to ride the Metro to a circle station. Circles need to get to circles, squares need to get to squares. Now the thing is actually, and we can adjust this at any time just intuitively by playing around with so actually it would kind of make sense to nope let's grab the red and ex extend it to there because now we have a circle a triangle and a square on the same system so we actually do have a limited amount of tunnels we did have to build a tunnel to do this we're crossing a bridge bridge crossing so we are getting a passenger count these are the amount of citizens that have successfully been delivered. It looks like we got some circles getting dropped off here, picking up a triangle in the square. Things are things are doing just fine, but now it's like, okay, we're getting a lot of, we only have one square. Oh, you know what I know what we can do? I know what we can do here. Maybe we create a new line. We have three lines available, so we might as well, we could use them. Now this is cool because again we have two lines here that satisfy all the shapes so they can just sort of infinitely go along each other right um, now we have to think about who is going to reach up and grab this well we have a circle on the blue line already maybe the red comes up because now we have circles on the edges we have a square and a triangle in the middle so this seems like it's kind of decent although we're getting a bit of a backup on the yellow line here the circles can get dropped off on the yellow line, but anytime a square shows up, they have to make a transfer. Okay. See, and it's interesting because we have this little dilemma here. Or now we're getting circles over here. We have a disproportional amount of circles and triangles. Okay, week two. We now have a new locomotive for your metro. Excellent. The funny thing is the first time I played this, I didn't realize you were picking what you wanted here. Which new asset would you like for your metro? Um, additional tunnels would be nice. We don't really need another line. Oh, I didn't realize we already had two tunnels. Nah, that's fine. We'll use them eventually. So we actually do have an extra locomotive. So now if one of these lines was getting extra busy, we can actually drop off. We can actually add a metro to it. But currently, I'm going to just hold off here. We're just going to chill out. And, and what's cool is the map, like we, ne we don't play around with the map at all. It's going to naturally expand, ebb and flow as things change. And now I'm wondering, actually, what if, what if we come up here like this? Because now, again, we have triangle on both ends, both other shapes in between. Circle on both ends, both other shapes in between. So it sort of minimizes... The distance that any of these need to go if they need to go to circle they can just go there if they need to go from here to square triangle they're there okay another circle well okay this is where we probably attach to there but then we can also consider adding maybe blue is going to need the extra the extra locomotive here although yellow is kind of struggling as is too but hopefully hopefully this here is going to pick up Oh, yep, actually, this is not looking so great. 
Because now yellow's got to go really far up here. And this person's going to wait. So basically, if it had the way that this game goes, we'll just kind of see it naturally. But eventually, what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to get these people picked up in time. It's, you're going to be overflowed. In fact, yeah, we'll just see what happens. Let's not let's not ruin the uh, the surprise here. Now it's kind of like, do we bring down the red line or do we just connect with the blue here? That's a short connection, so that's not going to be too much extra time. But doing a triangle into a triangle, not efficient. Because triangle passengers never appear at triangle stops, right? Because triangles are trying to get two triangles. So this blue, right now it's looking okay. Hopefully he can pick up, he's going to pick him up on the, on the way back here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I do not like that. Yellow's getting a little out of control here. Yeah, we only have the three lines. An extra locomotive, good. Okay, we can either get a carriage or we can get an interchange. The interchange is like a powerful stop that can hold more citizens. And also, uh, it lets the people get on and off faster. A carriage, I believe, is literally just adding a carriage onto a locomotive. So that's going to be really, really good, actually. We have two available locomotives. Let's get one there. Maybe we attach our carriage. Yeah. Maybe we attach our carriage to the blue. And maybe red gets the other locomotive. But we can move these. The cool thing is we can move these over here if we want. There's no issue in doing that. And then what I'm thinking is now... I wanted to give the extra locomotive to red because now red has a new shape. Sort of a pizza, pizza slice shape or a, a pie shape or something. Okay, this is looking a bit sketchy here. Um, what we could do is we could grab it like this. We could actually turn that back to there. And maybe red. Did we get red in here like this? It's not... It's certainly not ideal. Where are the squares? Look at this, guys. Our only square in the entire system is here. That is insane. That is actually insane. Blue's going to be in trouble here. Because, again, I, I don't like chaining a bunch of circles together because citizens here are never going to need to get dropped off here. Good thing is blue can hold... 12 passengers at one time and blue is on a line with square so okay there's our other square now currently yellow is actually the one line that doesn't have square we could move right up to here we could move yellow down to here and into the square Although it's kind of unfortunate that squares on the end here, right? Uh oh. I don't know what to do about this triangle here. I think another line would actually be good, but the interchanges are strong as well. Let's, um. Oh, nope, I don't want to do another line. Hold, hold off on that for a second. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to grab yellow. In fact, let's redraw yellow. Blue's going to need help. Blue needs help. Oh, and we got this one over here. Actually, let's do another line. They don't have triangle on this light blue. So maybe yellow actually comes off. Maybe yellow. Hold on, hold on. Maybe yellow 
actually comes down here. The yellow goes just like this. And then maybe light blue just connects in there. And then maybe it connects to there. Maybe they kind of come this way. I don't know. It's looking it's looking sketchy here. It's looking sketchy. We have the extra locomotive. We do not. It actually, when we created the new line, the locomotive that we had actually went to light blue here. Okay, at least they're going to pick all these up. Okay, things are looking kind of kind of iffy right now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's another... That's another square. Can we utilize that better? Can we better utilize that? Blue needs help. <laughs> that's, that's kind of an understatement. Blue needs help here. Um... <laughs> See, this is what happens. It's like, this is insane. It feels like they're spawning faster, but I don't know if that's true. Okay, we have a carriage now. We have another carriage. Stick that on blue. Let's get red the carriage. Just hope. But I'm just thinking, how can we potentially redesign these here? Light blue needs some help. Luckily, these special ones here that are piling up should be dropped off here for light blue. That being said, um, this is looking scary here. This is looking really scary here. That's got to come up here. We have two on yellow. Yellow's looking pretty nice. I think what we do is we actually pull this back. And we give yellow this one here. Red's looking very not clean. Not clean. I'm wondering, is there a thing... Like, is there an advantage to creating like a straight line? I think there's some really interesting like puzzle... Puzzly, you know, thinking and um, maybe even math that you can apply to this, I'm sure. It's a really interesting puzzle game. You don't, it's kind of weird because it's kind of instinctual too. It's, it's not something you can like think about really. It's just kind of a gut feeling almost. I'm sure, again, there is probably a system, there is a formula here that we could be abiding by or, or should be abiding by. But it's kind of interesting how when you play it, it just kind of like, it, it kind of pulls out some almost primal instincts. Things are looking okay here. It's Saturday, I don't know if the new week... What do we do with that? That's a new shape. That's a new shape. Um, actually, you know what I think we do? I think we pull red down here. Okay, we need to redesign red. Okay. Heck. I know, right? Oh no. Okay, let's go. Just like this. Go. Go. Um, we might want an interchange here. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe... Oops. So an interchange is a place that can hold extra... Okay, what do we do about this up here? I guess we can just put it on that line. See this, I don't like this at all. This long line with a bunch of uh, circles on it. Okay, we got an issue down here. We could actually, this could be a, this could be a loss. Oh, we need another one on red. Go, 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 pick those up, pick those up. Okay, scary. I think this is going to be a big hub here. In fact, now I'm almost thinking we twist red and get it back on this hub. We could actually move blue over here, put red back up there, make this a depot. Okay, yellow is going to be uh, hopefully picking up a lot of these, but it's going to be tight. Nope, they're not going to get them all. 
Look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. We have a specialty one over here that needs to get up to here. That's a nightmare situation if I've ever seen one. Redunzo. Redunzo. Okay. Nope. Yep. You're not picking any of them up. Same here. Not picking any of them up. Because they're only going to pick them up on the way back. Are you going to get there in time? No, it's not going to be enough. You have seen none of these are circles. See, this is what's going on here. None of these are circles. And this is a huge circle path that they have to take. So, yep, that's it. That's it. We got to... I think... That might be the highest I've ever gotten, 682 passengers. But guys, that is like a first impressions for Mini Metro. And it's sort of just like, it, it just gets crazy. It's interesting how, can you endless? I don't know. So if we look at the main menu here, thanks for indulging me, everybody, because I know this isn't like normal content. I'm definitely not an expert at this game. I'm sure people have some really impressive stuff. Um... Build for efficiency. Tracks are permanent. Wow. So there's some interesting challenge modes that you can do there. Um, I'm guessing the uh, endless mode has to do with time, right? They don't overcrowd, but then it becomes sort of an issue of like how fast you can service the people or something. Not sure how it would measure success. But no, there's some different maps here. I haven't actually done any of the different maps. Um, Let's go back to the main menu here. There's actually daily challenges, which is kind of interesting. Um, we'll look here and see. I mean, two thousand. We got to uh, what? Seven? Not even seven hundred. Someone's gotten to two thousand. I mean, that's just insane. I mean, just imagine what that would look like on the screen. You know what I mean? All the different specialty shapes, all the different lines and locomotives and everything going around. Anyways, thank you so much, everybody, for taking a look at this uh, mini metro with me really enjoying this game really enjoying this game it's it's really i've always been a fan of puzzle games this one's just sleek it's beautiful it's uh it's a lot of fun and it kind of harkens back to some of the city skylines the satisfaction you get from you know in city skylines when you make that perfect uh public transportation system and all the sims start using it and everything so thank you so much everybody i will see you guys in the next one